We are meeting today because there is the anniversary of the genocide in Rwanda. I had the pleasure 28 years ago to chair the special mission of the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe. At the time I was the vice president in Strasbourg. Uh, and we spent a few days in August 1994, so briefly after the genocide. It was a terrible situation since 2000, uh, 2000 President of Rwanda, uh, Mr. Kagame, and visit something and to see. Notion of gen genocide that has the Greek and Latin roots. I speak uh, the classic Greek, Greek I, 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 I understand also Latin, so genos, it's in, uh, in English a sort of tribe, sometimes nation. Uh, sidium in Latin, it's killing. So genocide as Polish lawyer of Jewish origin, it, it's important because he introduced that notion, genocide, to point out the tragic situation. So in the history we have so many genocides. Lemkin was, uh, very few people know his name and his contribution, uh, because his main uh, plus was to introduce not only the nation, genocide, but uh, to initiate the legal decisions in the framework of United Nations to uh, accept the special convention on preventing the genocide. Uh, so we can discuss which genocides really happened and for what reasons, but undoubtedly what happened in Poland against the Jews, not only in, in, in Polish nation, it was genocide, Armenian genocide. Then according to Lemkin, we have had the genocides, for instance, uh, and the crimes perpetrated by, by French in Algeria. In many, many cases. Rwanda, beyond discussion. And we should do everything in order to avoid such ethnic, not only ethnic, but such crimes. I had the chance to graduate also from Africanist studies at the University of Warsaw. In Africa we have now 54 countries, so this is the biggest number of countries on any continent. I had the chance in my uh, personal and scientific and political life to visit probably around 40 countries, never, never very long. Uh, so. Uh, on one hand, I observe that the situation in Africa is getting better, by and large I'm speaking. On the other hand, sometimes we have the global uh, challenges, like starvation for instance, that is a, a, a tragedy. Now also starvation is going on as a, as a challenge even in Europe. Coming back to, to, to Rwanda, it seems to, it seems to me that this process of reconciliation is going on positively. Once I, I was observing the course of events in Rwanda, I saw that, for instance, that there is a great, particularly comparing with the other African countries, role of women in, in politics. You, in parliaments, you have the time that the majority of the deputies I spent in Parliament 25 years, in Polish Parliament, they are the women. You had the Speaker of the Parliament, the women. So this is very positive uh, element of the, of the political life. And then we almost all, not only in Europe but in Africa, are coming to the conclusion that if the, the conflicts, the differences of the opinion, the dialogue has to be uh, the most important thing. 
in order to uh, avoid the conflicts, regardless of their base, ethnic conflicts, or uh, just the conflicts around the borders, uh, uh, around the, the frontiers. So everything should be done in order to have the priority to dialogue, to discussion, to debate, to diplomacy. So from that point of view, uh, I see that uh, Rwanda uh, accomplished a lot. Uh, I hope to, to see perhaps in the foreseeable future and to see the progress. But 28 years, you learned the lessons, it seems to me. That is a very important thing. Economically, of course, everybody is uh, facing the difficulties. Uh, in Africa, th there is also the, the challenge concerning with the increasing in an enormous way the population. Uh, so how to cope with all these challenges? It's un de richesse, un de richesse, the different problem, uh, as the French are saying. Uh, so I, I, I see the progress in, in Rwanda, I, I, I see a lot of dialogue and uh, I'm going to repeat that avoiding the, uh, avoiding the feeling himself or herself with the ethnic group and uh, trying to feel herself himself like a citizen of Rwanda, this is advantage, advantage. And uh, still we have in, in Africa di different conflicts, unsolved. Uh, so people of uh, Rwanda, they were the, uh, uh, the victims of the tragedy, but step by step they, they could be perhaps a model, a model of solving the, uh, the tragic conflicts. So I am an optimist from that point of view. We should remember the past and never agree to the situation when the people, sometimes even alleged scholars or false historians, are forgetting the past are denying the atrocities, are denying the crimes. Still, there are unfortunately the people, politicians, who are denying the genocide against Tutsi. Finally, we need to reconcile. We are the human beings. We belong to the one, one world we are facing very similar challenges, so nev never again, never again the tragedies and never again to allow the, those people who are denying the tragedies. What's over? I mean, whether in Poland, whether in uh, Rwanda, uh, I see that Rwanda learned the lessons. The, the leaders of Rwanda, of contemporary Rwanda, learned the lessons and I wish them to go in that direction. Not to forget about the past, but to learn the lessons for, for the future. For, on behalf of our, uh, our children, our, relat our relatives. Uh, Gens unasumus, that's late in language, the main lemma of the United Nations. We are the human beings, and we never should differ in the most cruel way. And uh, Rwanda is learning us a lot, should learn us, never forget about it.